What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going to coach somebody again. His name is going to be Zeon. Um, I understand that there are black bars in the recording since the recording he sent me has a different um, resolution. So, um, <laughs> sorry about the black bars, we'll just deal with it for now, alright? So, let's see what we have here. Um, I don't know where rank he is because the gameplay started uh, like on here yeah this is the one second <laughs> area of the replay so i don't know what rank he is i don't know what his emblem is um and plus i believe let's see here he does have purify though for all we know um so that's really good purify for uh, against cho is really good you can purify kaja if you do it perfectly and of course johnson purify johnson as well so that is definitely good but the, the good thing here the first thing you need to um notice is these guys don't really have a mage um, so if I were you, um, I'd probably build, build like Wind of Nature and then like Athena Shield somewhere in your build or Immortality already. I could, you could you could probably tell by the way <clears throat> by the way the enemy team is set up what your build will be. So you bought you bought the Jungle Emblem first. Usually mm, usually marksmen don't go mid. It's supposed to be Guinevere mid or Yodora mid. It's one of those. But since your teammates did not go mid, I guess you had no choice but to take the mid lane. It looks like your tank is gonna go AFK, so that means you cannot go aggressive on this minion. So that's definitely um, understandable. So that's all right. Can't do anything about that. After this, you go straight to the blue. Now, now this is different for a marksman. Usually, marksmen go side lane, not mid lane, right? So the way I'm gonna teach you is definitely different. And this guy is still AFK. He need yeah, good job asking for help right here because you're supposed to be getting help here. You won't be able to solo this. Um, this jungle monster you're gonna die if you don't have minotaur next to you but you, you're already delayed just because of that just because he moves so slow but let's see what you can do looks like kaja looking for a steal but i don't think he's gonna steal it at least minotaur gave you the blue buff so that's pretty good yep get the mid lane tower uh mid lane minions and then once you get that usually you go um right here but since it's too late since, again you guys are way behind since minotaur moves so slowly Yep, this is really good. You just go for the, um, you just go for the small minion right here. Usually go for the crab because crabs are small objectives in the game. But even the enemy team is not going for this crab. Fanny's going for it right now, but I don't know if he's gonna get it. Um, let's see here. So just wave clear mi mid again. This is good so far. Nothing, um, nothing, nothing bad. Uh, you see this guy's being aggressive and bullied, so you go, you're gonna want to rotate there, and that's what exactly what you're doing right now, which is really good. You're trying to help your teammates. You're supposed to let Minotaur go first, but I don't know what Minnow's doing. It's definitely not your fault that Minnow's not frontlining. But yeah, usually if your tank knows how to play, never never go in front. Um, you you let him bush check, alright? Wait, why did you second skill over there? Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Ooh, that is not good. Definitely not good. Okay, so Chu was still level 3 when he uh, when he knocked you up. You just wasted your um, your purify actually. Um, but you did get a kill right there. So you could have used your purifier right there. So what was wrong on that play? Let's see here. The bad part about that is you need to notice that Chu was still level 3 when he knocked you up. And you kind of panicked. So you need to know that those little things. Um, let's see here. Where was it? Let's watch it slowly. Yeah. Chu was still level 3 when he knocked you up. You need to notice what level he is. And don't just panic. See right there. He's level 3 right there. You need to realize that and look at the enemy's level. And don't ulti right away. Never use your ulti to deal damage first as Claude. Especially early game. You want to save your ulti early game for wave clearing minions because you don't have Demon Hunter Sword yet. Once you get Demon Hunter Sword, that's when you start using ulti on enemies. Alright? Um, you can also use your ulti early game, but that is if everybody else is low if the enemy team is low that's when you use it right but in this current situation don't use it and Chu also has knocked up which cancelled your ulti anyways and you were you knocked up you were already knocked up you landed already the crowd control is already done all you need to do is run away but you wasted a purify right here uh, yeah right there you didn't you didn't need it to be honest because you also had teleport anyways and you could have used that purify right here and saved your life right you did end up getting a kill but it's you, it definitely you maybe could have gotten two kills since look at how low Chu was. If you had Purify, he would have gotten baited and you would have been basic attacking him under the tower. So make sure to save your Purify at the correct time. Let's see here. Um, I forgot. There's no sounds in this. There's no sound in here. Yeah, I'm putting sounds on this game. 
there's no sounds. I, I turned it up all the way up and there's no sounds. Uh, that's all right. I'll just put mu uh, background music, which is all right. All right, so we see Guinevere going for the blue buff here. Your blue is supposed to be up like right about now. Um, around three minutes, it goes up. You'll see it. You'll see this thing light up with the purple with this circle right here in a couple of seconds. Uh, yeah, it'll, it'll show up in a couple of seconds right here. Since you got it pretty late earlier, there it is. See, so around three minutes is when your buff goes up. Um, you should get it now, if I were you, before going anywhere. Nice. Okay, good. Good. All right, let's wait. Uh, you're gonna take the buff. Your door is doing good right now. Two and one, definitely doing good. Um, I don't know what your what items you're buying, obviously, since I can't see the items that you're you're getting. But itemization is definitely important. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see at the end of the game um, what your items are. Yeah, it's really hard to um, go against Fanny on top lane. I don't know where, why they're losing against Fanny though. They have a stun on Eudora and they have a taunt on Ruby. There you go. Um, try to avoid using your second skill whenever you're farming. Only use your second skill if you really need to chase somebody or if you're escaping, right? Try to save your second skill as much as possible. Okay, and another tip for you is um, try to keep your first skill stacked to 10, all right? Don't just be going around and, you know, not having your first skill stack. It looks like you had mana boots for your first item since it, like, you weren't running out of mana. Okay, so if you, if you don't know about the passive for Claude, if you have, um, your passive should be under here and it's like a little box. And it has like a number, um, it goes from number 1 to 10. If that's on all the way on number 10, that means your passive is all the way up, but it has a timer. So it's a box and it has a little timer that goes around, right? If the timer finishes, oh, okay. I don't know if that's a good idea. It's a fanny. Never do that. Never do that. If you know someone's a, someone is going to get away, don't do it. If fanny has a cable. He was obviously going to get away from your, from your ulti. You just wasted it right there. Plus, it, it looks like you don't have Demon Hunter Sword yet, which I can tell. That was a really good ulti for Minnow. All right. Okay, try not to stick to a wall. Not try not to stick to a wall when you're against a fanny. Yeah, try not to stick to a wall when you're against a fanny. Did you waste a purify again? Let me check. Did you just purify? No, never mind. That was a minnow heal. I thought you purified. It looked like you purified. That was a minnow heal. All right. You see Johnson ulted. You better start running. Why did you? Oh my god! If that Johnson was good, he would have hit you. Yeah, if that Johnson was good, he would have hit you. Don't never teleport like in front of Johnson. Teleport sideways so you dodge it, cause Johnson cannot turn. That car cannot turn so much to a to a ninety degree angle. You need to teleport sideways. All right. You wave clear the mid lane with your ulti, which is good. You don't have the one hunter sword yet. I could tell by <laughs> by how much damage you're doing to the minions and to the enemy that you don't have the one hunter sword at this current time yet. Uh, you'll have it soon. You have you have the lifesteal item, you have the dagger, and the attack speed item, but that's about it. Alright, you got the blue again. This is good. You're timing your blue okay. Could be a lot better, but you know, you're a marksman at mid. You don't usually play mid lane. You're supposed to be side lane. So the way I'm coaching this is going to be different compared to the other Claude videos that I already coach. So this is not the only video that I actually coach. I This is the, this is the video that I will post on YouTube though, so... Um, the other ones I didn't post. I'm not gonna post on YouTube. Um, let's see here. It looks like you you should be able to get this tower for free, and you should be able to dodge Fanny. You, you need to stack your first skill on those minions, and don't use this. Don't, don't use the second skill if you don't need to. Don't use it. Like, look at Fanny. You don't have second skill to dodge Fanny now. If this Fanny was a monster, you would have died already. Yeah, you would have. Are you still dead? Yeah, you're still dead. <laughs> don't waste the second skill. Don't waste a second skill. Save it, save it, save it, save it, save it. If you're running away, well, for for you to run away, save it, save it. It's very important. Your second skill is very, very important. It's the main point of your second skill is for engage or for disengage. All right. If you're chasing someone or if you're running away, nothing else. Don't be using it to. If you, <laughs> yeah. Don't. If you know you're gonna get gang, of course just use it. But don't be using it just because. All right. Make sure to save it. Alright, let's see here. You saw Johnson ulted right there, didn't hit anybody. Just wave clear mid and you should be good. Again, don't use your second skill, you used it again. 
And you you might get ulted by Kaja. Good thing he didn't ult you. I don't know if he, he had ulti. Yeah, Purify. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you didn't have second skill to dodge that knockup. Like, you could have dodged a bunch of damage from Chu if you had second skill, right? Save your second skill. You don't. You didn't have to second skill into the minion. Save, save it, save it, save it. Just because you got harassed, you had to recall, meaning your tower will get pushed. So these little things really matter. You need to break the bad habits. Alright, you see Johnson. Better try to get away. You don't, you're not gonna get hit. You're good. Keep your first skill stack. I, I noticed you don't ever use your first skill. You don't ever use it. Like Even if it doesn't kill them, you're just gonna use it for, for the stacks. You're using it for the stacks. That This first skill. You want to use it for the stacks and don't use it just be, um, how do you say this? I feel like whenever, when I'm looking at you, you're only using it when you're about to fight. Use it at all times, even on minions, to just keep the passive at 10. Oh god, you're, you might be dead here. Yeah, almost. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're dead. Rip, you didn't have Purify to actually predict that, so you can't do anything about that, but... Whenever there's nobody that has mid control, which is your Minotaur, you want to avoid these tight areas because most likely somebody's going to be camping these bushes right here at the mid lane. Especially if you don't have the, um, the advantage on the towers right here. You don't have the first tier tower advantages, right? Since both of your towers are down right here, they're going to be camping this, this mid lane right here. So you need to make sure to you know, avoid these tight areas, especially when there's no tank next to you. Because uh, marksman, the positioning is key for marksman. That's that's the most important part for a marksman. If you're positioning correctly, then you should be good. Uh, I can see your items now. It looks like yeah, it looks like you're gonna go for a golden staff. You did go demon hunter sword, which is good. Let's see what else you can do. See what I mean? These guys are just camping. You see these guys? Let let the tank go first. That's good. Position yourself. Back up. Back up a little bit. There you go. Wait. Why did you? Okay. <laughs> Why did you... What? Wait, that was really bad. Wait up. Wait up. If you're gonna purify, purify right away. Don't wait. Do not wait, do not wait, do not wait. If you're gonna purify, purify right away. Once you get kicked, purify. All right. And I don't know why you tell. Did you teleport in? Did you teleport in? Let's see here. Yeah, you did teleport in. You teleported in. But there's a Chu right next to you, right? And he kicked you, which cancelled your ulti. Yeah, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Never, never engage like that. Always have your tank engage for you, okay? Yeah, and you purified so late. You need to watch out for your, you, you're probably dead right here. Oh, Fanny doesn't have ulti, I guess. You would have died if you ulted. Let's see, just recall. There's no point in staying in the lane anymore. Just get health back. Yeah. If you're gonna purify, purify earlier. You can even purify once you go in, so you you make sure that nobody stops your ulti. Because if you purify while you while you ulti, your ulti will not get cancelled. All right. So make sure you know that. There you go. Fight that. You win that. You win that first kill. Keep first killing. Oh my god. First kill. There you go. Still need a little bit of work the micro game needs some work you're keeping your distance you need to you need to um, memorize Claude's um how do you say this you need to memorize Claude's range his auto attack range so Claude's range from what I remember is around like right like if you're standing still around right there that's your range right you need to memorize that range well maybe it's a little bit longer maybe like right right here I can't really draw a perfect circle but it's somewhere something like that right that's your range so whenever you're attacking an enemy, like let's say a Johnson, Johnson should be right here, right here, right here, or right here, you know, you feel me? So you gotta keep that range, that maximum range, so you don't go close to them so much, you know? You don't wanna go so close to them, and you don't wanna go too far. Um, keep keep that range so you don't get engaged on, and that's what posi positioning is all about. And plus, never stand still, never stand still when you're auto-attacking someone, especially on a team fight. When you're standing still, you're really easy to predict since you're static. Your your hero is static, your model is static. But if you're moving around side to side, um, auto attacking side to side, he'll never know where where to hit you, right? 
Are you gonna go this way? Are you gonna go this way? You can even go this way. You can go this way. Like you can go double left. You can go left, right, left, right, left, right. You can go right, right, left, left. You know, it could be anything. It really depends. It, you know, I I do it randomly. I just do it by instinct. You need to improve your your macro game. Your yeah, your micro game. It's, you need to kite as well when someone's chasing you you need to auto attack run back auto attack run back at the perfect timing to where um, they won't be able to hit you far enough you know you're, you're far enough to actually auto attack them and that's really good from from Ruby you don't have damage on that um that Johnson yep when there's a fanny you try to run away okay keep using your first skill keep auto attacking but you don't have any more health that's that's pretty bad yeah that Kaja does so much damage. He's 6, 2, and 8. Holy crap. You do have Golden Staff. If I were you, build Wind of Nature right here. They're all physical damage. Except for, well, Johnson's tank, obviously. Kaja is most likely doing damage, Kaja. But that's about it. They don't have, like, a solid mage. If Kaja uses her his ulti on someone else, you don't really need that much magic resist. So the only magic resist that you probably need is Immortality for here. And everything else, like... Wind of Nature. If you have Wind of Nature, Fanny can't assassinate you. Chu, if Chu goes damage, cannot assassinate you. Um, he he has a hard time assassinating you. So the enemy team has Lord. So make sure to clear this. Of course, you're you're the fastest wave clearer on your team. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. You're lucky. Johnson actually messed up the ulti right there. I just saw that. Okay, take the take the blue buff maybe or the well that's Guinevere, so you don't want to take that. All right, clear the super minions. Mm -hmm. There you go. Get the buff right away. Don't give it to the enemy, please. I don't know who's gonna get this. You do have it. Oh yeah. So you've been getting all the buffs like the whole game. There's no excuse to lose this game if your teammates are giving you the resources to actually farm. Um, the only excuse that I would probably could think of is if your front lane really sucks. But right now, I mean, your bot lane is getting pushed. You need to you need to respond to that like now. You're lucky. Your teammates actually respond to it. Okay, just clear the wave anyways. You see, well, you can't really see Johnson. Johnson messed up his his car again. I saw it. He messed up his driving again. You're really lucky this Johnson is not that good. Um, and I, I actually don't know where rank this is. Hopefully you can tell me. It looks like if if I could base it off the gameplay, most likely like Epic maybe. Epic or Legend at most. Definitely not Mythic though. This is not Mythic. This is not how Mythics, mythics play. Um, most likely Epic. Uh, let's see here. Okay, you see Fanny. Nice. You can go back. You can go back. You can go back. Nice. Oh, you can first kill while you're ulting. By the way, I saw it. You saved it. You saved it. He would have died. That Fanny would have died with that little, that little amount of damage with the with the first kill. It really does matter since you also the faster your auto attack is, the fast the more damage you do with your ulti as well. I don't know if you know that. Um, but yeah, definitely use your first kill while you're ulting. You could use it. You could use it. And keep your stacks up. You're not. You haven't been like keeping up with the stacks. Ten stack. You need to keep it at ten stack. So you need. You need to keep first killing those minions. First kill those minions. Keep it at ten. As much as possible. You don't have to force to keep it at ten. I'm just trying to tell you to just do it as much as possible. Nice use of second skill. All right. Go for Fanny. Nice. All right. You can. You can still help. You're full health. There you go. First skill. There. There you go. There you go, you, you win those. First kill again. First kill, first kill, first kill, first kill, first kill the minions! When you first kill, when you keep your first kill passive, your movement speed is a lot faster, so you can roam around a lot faster. That's why I keep telling you to first kill even if it's minions. Don't be scared, because you're not going to run out of mana. Look how much mon mana you have. And plus, that's the reason why you have mana boots. You want to keep first killing every single time. You guys should be doing Lord now. I don't know what your team is doing. Lord, 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 Lord. What are you doing? What are these guys doing? Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah, this is definitely epic. This is not how Mythic plays. Yeah, they should be doing Lord. What are they doing? They're trying to bait the Chu. You guys are not going to get them. Oh my god. You're probably going to die here, maybe. Yeah, you're dead. Maybe. Oh, okay. 
What the heck? Your teammates didn't even respond like million years later. What the heck, man? You're probably gonna die to Fanny, maybe? Oh, you ran away. Just run away. There's no point in staying. Run away, please. Run away. You're dead. You're dead. Uh, yeah. Should've just ran away. Don't force that. Don't force that. Don't force staying. You're, you were already low. They knew you were doing Lord. You knew they were over there next to you. You should've just recalled, brother. And I think you're gonna lose because of that, even though you did get Lord. From what I see. Yeah. You're gonna lose because of it. See, there's no point in getting Lord if you guys are all gonna die. Just just back. It's more important to back. Ah oh, man. Alright. I couldn't really see the scoreboard. But that was it. I couldn't see the scoreboard, but I did see your your score. What was it? 3, 5, and 9, and you didn't build Wind of Nature, so you really gotta adapt your itemization. This item is good, I'm not saying this item is bad, but considering that they had a Chu, they had a Chu, a Fanny assa that, that would assassinate you, and they also had a Kari, if if you wanna win 1v1 against Kari, you definitely need Wind of Nature, you will lose 1v1 against Kari if you don't have Wind of Nature. Um, but you did good on the Purify, I don't know what emblem you have, so the mechanics wise, you need better micro game. You need to know the distance of your hero. So let me, let me go right here, right here. So you need to memorize the distance of your hero, which is like around here for Claude at least, like around that area. If anybody's like standing right there, like if there's a minion right here, you should be able to hit it. If there's a minion right here, you should be able to hit it. That's the maximum range to basic attack, right? But if, um, you know, you don't want to go too close. If this is your auto attack range, like, this is not the perfect circle for Claude, by the way. If this is your auto attack range, um, you don't want to be, like, right here, right? You don't want to be right here, and you can hit him right here. You know what I mean? So you keep your distance. Positioning is key. Don't be face checking. Face checking means don't bush check, especially if you, if you don't have a tank next to you. Um, if they have mid lane control, right here, make sure to not go in those gaps, because they will, especially if there's a Kaja. Or a Chu, they will freaking flicker for you, or they will knock you up, and Chu will just dash towards that wall, right? This this wall right here, second skill that wall, and which um since I'm a Chu player, I like doing that as well. Um, what else? Your first skill, very important. Your first skill, you need to stack it. Stack your first skill. You're not using, you're not, you, you're not stacking your first skill at all. This game, you didn't stack at all. This game, you were just using it whenever there's a team fight, which is which is bad. Always use it. Um, second skill, you were using it for no reason. Only use it for um, chasing someone or if you're running away, okay? If you're chasing someone or running away or if you're about to go into a team fight and engage. But never use it out of nowhere randomly, all right? Always try to keep it saved. Um, in the early stages of the game, try to use your ulti. Um, before you get Demon Hunter Sword, use your ulti on minions so you can get Demon Hunter Sword as fast as possible. Because that's your power spike. This is called a power spike once you got that item. Um, you'll do a, a lot more damage to enemies when you have demon once you get demon hunter sword but overall your itemization was not that bad to be honest you just needed wind of nature would have been better all right um hmm, positioning eh, what else did i say um yeah you're so you're not supposed to be mid lane so yeah you're supposed to be side lane so this gameplay is actually really hard to judge because this is not how a marksman is supposed to play you're supposed to be side lane pushing towers and stuff okay Alright, so hopefully you learned something. Um, if you have any questions about the video, um, make sure to email me again, uh, Zeon. Thank you for being a member and thank you for um, sending in this gameplay for me to coach. Um, hopefully some other people that are viewing this can also learn from this. Okay, um, there's a couple of members, the other members that I coach, I did not post the gameplay. There's like three more of them that I didn't post. They just emailed me and I emailed them back with the get recording. But I felt like this was a very good gameplay to um, actually post on YouTube, alright? So thank you for that. If you want to be a member, um, I will post the link below on how to be a member on the description, okay? So make sure you do that. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and um, share this video if you want your friends to actually learn something. Yeah, alright. Thank you. Peace.